Chapter 11, Mishnah 8. Ezav is also used for another mitzvah, purifying a mitzorah, a person who has saras. The first step in this process is to slaughter a bird over a bowl containing spring water. A bundle of Ezav, together with other items, is then dipped into the water mixed with blood and is, and this is used to sprinkle the mitzorah. Our Mishnah discusses whether an Ezav used for one mitzvah, sprinkling the mechatas, can then be used for another, purifying the mitzorah. An Ezav that someone used to sprinkle mechatas on a person to purify him from corpse tumor can be used to purify a mitzorah, i.e. to sprinkle mitzorah with the mixture of blood and water needed to begin his purification. Ezav is sometimes gathered for use as food and sometimes to be used as fuel for a fire. Whether it can become tame as a food therefore depends on the intention of the person who picked it. If he picked it for food, it is considered a food and can become tame. If he picked it to use as fuel for a fire, it is not considered a food and cannot become tame. Even something that is a food cannot become tame unless it has first been prepared for tuma by becoming wet with one of seven liquids. The Mishnah discusses whether Azov may be used for sprinkling mechatas after it became wet. If someone picked Azov for firewood and liquid fell on it, he may dry it so that the liquid on the Azov should not mix together with the mechatas, and the Azov is then valid to use for sprinkling mechatas since it cannot become tame. However, if he picked it for food and liquid fell on it, even if he dried it, it is not valid for sprinkling, since it became susceptible to tuma when the liquid fell on it. It is also possible for Aesop to be picked for a third reason, to use for sprinkling mechatas. In this case, there is a dispute whether it can be used after it became wet. If he sprinkled it for sprinkling mechatas, it is as if he picked it for food, and if liquid falls on it, it becomes susceptible to tuma and cannot be used for sprinkling. These are the words of Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Huda, Rabbi Yossi, and Rabbi Shimon say, Picking it to use for sprinkling mechatas is like picking it for firewood. It is not considered a food. Therefore, even if liquid fell on it, it does not become susceptible to tuma, and it may be dried off and used to sprinkle the mechatas.